everybody boring old guy here so I'm on a road trip and I've made a stop here in Crescent City California this is at the very northwest tip of California where it meets Oregon at the Smith River anyway that's the battery point lighthouse there behind me there's a light rain falling it's cloudy uh, at least it's not stormy like it is so often around here so I wanted to stop here at this scenic point just to address a couple of the questions that you all have sent me with some excellent questions, but we might as well start with uh, one of the most popular at the beginning. You know, why did I start doing this? My God, I wonder myself frequently. Back in October of 2019, it was my honor and privilege to accompany a Vietnam era veteran on his honor flight. We went back to Washington, D.C. for three days uh, with a group of about 20 other veterans. Each of them had their own companion, and then there was a large support staff from the companies that sponsored the trip as well. So good-sized contingent, and it was, it was a blast and you know, an honor, seriously an honor to serve uh, another veteran. Uh, anyway, so I took along a... Um, a video recorder and my phone and a selfie stick and um, just shot footage and I pieced it together basically for the people that I know and posted it to YouTube and you know I ended up with like a hundred subscribers just from my content there you know it was like huh how about this thing <laughs> and then uh, you know, I dinked around with it a little bit, but I wasn't serious. And then later on that following year, I was seeing a, a counselor for some issues that, you know, I went through and um, a lot of us do, frankly. So anyway, uh, I was telling him that I occasionally shot some videos and posted them to YouTube and, you know, what kind of content. And he says, you know what? I think that sounds great. It sounds very therapeutic for you. And, um, and others can live vicariously through you as you wander through the woods. <laughs> you know, so there you have it. That's the beginnings of it. Uh, so I started, you know, posting with more frequency and getting out and making things, you know, with intent, you know, and I do try to make them engaging and entertaining. And I'm honored that so many of you like them. So that would dovetail into one of the next most popular questions. What did I do for a living before I made content? Uh, before, <laughs> before I became a boring old guy, I was a really boring younger guy, you know? Uh, I went to school, uh, I'm gonna say my, my higher education, okay? Um, for plant sciences and ornamental horticulture with an option and a focus of study on landscape management. And I spent, good Lord, you know, 25 years or so in landscaping in general, everything from maintenance to construction to design, you know, boots on the ground and up in management, um, supervisor, manager, project manager, you know, eventually, um, I moved and that ended my landscape career per se and I became involved in building maintenance and so I did that uh, for about 15 years until it got too hard on my body. <laughs> Everything hurt all the time. <laughs> I didn't like being up on a ladder anymore, you know, it made my feet hurt. I didn't feel a as steady as I used to, you know. So anyway, it was time for a career change. So I started uh, working for a local school district and became a bus driver. And I've been doing that for about three years now. First couple of years, I drove the big yellow buses. And this year, I'm, I, um, I have a beautiful assignment. Um, I drive little ones. I drive three and four year olds to what they call early intervention. And it's a program that's about 20 miles away from the town that I live in. And I get to shuttle a couple of groups a day back and forth. And uh, you know, they're kids that 
maybe they've got a speech impediment or they're somewhere on the autism spectrum or y y you know how it is. Uh, they just need a little extra help um, before they get thrown into the next level of education. Uh, so anyway, give them some skills. So that's what I do now. I ferry kids and uh, I'm getting really close to just hanging it all up all together. Um, you know, if uh, if boring old guy could pay me more <laughs> of a living, <laughs> let's increase the watch time, guys. Anyway, um, I do enjoy making this content, though. And that kind of dovetails um, into another question. And I had a a few comments about the uh, the educational aspect of what I do and that uh, you know, you all enjoy learning the names of plants that I point out or interesting geologic features. Um, I do not have a formal science background other than plant sciences. And uh, it's just, I point out things that interest me, frankly. Uh, I have a curious mind. So, yeah, I like to find out what's going on. And, you know, those tidbits just fall out as I, as I walk along. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get back in the car, uh, travel back down the road a little ways, and I'll stop and do another one of these uh, again soon. All right.